Welcome to yet another CPU Kid PS3 hacking video. This is going to be on the custom firmware 3.55. Now, if you look at my other previous videos, I'm going to say, oh, you've already done this, but not really, because this is a different custom firmware. It's going to look probably kind of the same as the other firmwares did, but this one is called K Meow. I'm, I don't think that's how you say it, but that's how I'm going to say it because. It reminds me of a cat, even though I hate cats, but it makes it easier to say. Anyway, this the big thing with this custom firmware is that it allows you to run backups. And now this is what everyone's been waiting for. This is what Sony, this is like Sony's worst fear. If you saw my previous video, which can be watched right here, they're pretty much scared of piracy. You know, this is probably the one thing Sony doesn't want to have happen, and now it's probably going to happen. But like I said in my other video, a lot of people really do use Backup Manager for legit purposes, such that you know if you have your own games, you can back them up and have half the loading time. So, but yeah, this is going to let you run your backups, your Open Manager, your Multi Man, all those different backup managers will work. So this is probably going to be, like I said, kind of similar to my other custom firmware video. Because the steps are pretty much the same, but it does enable new features, so I figured, why not make a video? So if you've been following me on Twitter, you'll know that from that custom firmware, I flashed back to 3.41 because it wasn't really worth it yet to be on 3.55. So I am running 3.41 right now, so I will re-upgrade to the 3.55 official firmware and then update from that to the custom 3.55. And that's the order you have to do it, so... Before you get into like the rest of this video hacking, just watch the whole video first, do yourself a favor, and just in case, like I always say, back up your stuff, you know, stuff can always get lost through upgrades, it's just a good idea, back up your stuff, you, you'll never be, be like, ah, oh, why did I back up my data? You'll never say that. So, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is you want to copy an official 3.55 update to a USB drive such as this. You, or you could really just go through the PS3's cross menu bar and go to uh, software update, go to 3.55 and install it. Exactly. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and update this sucker to 3.55. Alright, so here I am at my PlayStation 3, so I'll go ahead and scroll over to System Settings. Then I'll go down to Firmware to show you guys I'm on 3.41. No tricks or shenanigans or funny business or anything like that. So, like I said earlier, I have the update on here. If in case you don't know how to do this, I've showed you, I've showed it a bunch of times. You just create a folder called PS3, go in that folder, within there, create a folder called Update in all capital letters, and drag the PS3 update into that folder. So we want to go ahead and put that in to the PS3, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to go up to System Update via Storage Media. As you can see, 3.55 was found. So please wait, and of course you're going to have the license terms and everything like that. So now just in case that you guys don't know, if you're already on the, the jailbreak, the custom firmware, you if you don't have to go back to 3.41, you could just remain at 3.55, but you have to go into the PS3's recovery mode to reflash the official firmware, so you won't need that official 3.55.pup I showed you guys. So in order to do get the PS3 to recovery mode, you you turn it off, the switch in the back, or you pull the plug if you're on a slim, turn it back on, and when you when you go to turn it back on, you hold down the power button until it shuts off again, and then you lift your finger and then you push it down again, and you'll hear one beep, you'll hear two beeps, and then you'll hear a double beep, and after that you'll get into the PS3's recovery menu. So from there you just go ahead and go to restore, and then it should restore you to the regular 3.55. Okay, just a quick heads up, if you've used the downgrade, like the 3.5 downgrade, actually I think it's just a 3.55 downgrade. If you watched my previous video, or my other hacking video of the 3.50 downgrade, you'll be okay. But if you did the 3.55 downgrade, then going back to 3.55 from 3.41 won't be as easy for you. Because in the modified uh, 3.41 that you go back to, it actually sends the PS3 message that it's running firmware 3.56. So when you go to update to 3.55 again, it doesn't let you. So you have to downgrade back to 3.41. Like again, like you went from 3.55 to 3.41. And here you are now. You have to reload to uh, 3.41 and then go back using the same exact method. But you put both of the files that um, file one as well as a, a firmware that was before firmware 3.41. In my case, I use firmware 3.21. You just have to go ahead and download that from somewhere on the internet, put it on a flash drive, downgrade back to that, and then you can update from that to 3.55 and you'll be set. So that's just one thing. I'll put a link in the description to a great tutorial for you guys, so that's just right down there. Go ahead and click that if you're in that boat. 
So that's just a quick little heads up, so now let's continue on. Okay, so here I am at the 3.55 Cross Media Bar, and as usual, I have my flash drive with the uh, custom firmware PUP on it. So we're going to go ahead and plug that into a USB port, or just like old times, we're going to head up to Software Update, and do Update via Storage Media, and there it is, 3.55K Meow. It's just how I say it. it sounded kind of Chinese there, not really like a cat, but could be a Chinese cat. There's like your little, uh, you can read that, you can pause the video, it's kind of interesting to read but you know hit accept this won't take long since I actually I don't think it'll take long yeah there you go it's not like a full-fledged firmware it just kinda writes over some files and such but as you can see it goes much faster than a legit Sony update I'll just let this go in real time no editing so you guys can get a glimpse of how long it actually takes 90% it jumped right over 90 to 100 so that's always fun so I don't know if it's just gonna shut it off or restart I think it just restarted oh it actually does go through like a Sony update process very interesting maybe this will take the full time like the full length of a Sony update GeoHots was super quick and you never saw any of this stuff so yeah, it looks just like a Sony update actually. And yeah, I, I will edit this because <laughs> it's probably going to take a minute. But I'll be back in a second. So very much like a Sony update, it got to around 30% and jumped to 100. I'm not quite sure the kind of math they're using over there in Japan or wherever, but works for me. So the PS3 is now rebooting. And here we go, you have the majestic PS3 logo. So now here we are at the new modified cross mini bar. And at the bottom you have install package files and app home PS3 game. Let's see if there's any different like spoofs or anything for the firmware. Nope, just standard 3.55. Now if I wanted to, I can go ahead and sign into the PlayStation Network. I could do some stuff on PSN. If you have Netflix, you can go ahead and stream your Netflix until Sony releases a new firmware. <laughs> but I'm sure that'll be hacked in a few days once it's released but so yeah there you go so there you have it that's the new meow something custom firmware uh, it's easy as that to install you really just it's now to the point where you just put a pup on your uh, flash drive you plug it in and you install it um, like I was saying earlier if you did the downgrade from 3.55 you might have had some trouble but hopefully the link down there helps you guys out uh, tutorial it's very straightforward to follow you just have to download an extra PS3 firmware it's a pretty uh, it's pretty worth it to be able to have this custom firmware because like at the beginning of this video and I'm sure like you've all read this allows you to have backups you, this is like the custom firmware at the moment so if you have this custom firmware then you should be pretty happy there's not going to be any more flame wars about oh when's backup manager coming and stuff like that because it's here so no more complaining from you guys show some appreci appreciation to the devs so that's pretty much it for the custom firmware for the PS3 the 3.55 meow I'll just call it that from now on. Uh, if you have any questions about it or pretty much about anything, I'm at CPU Kid on Twitter. Uh, go ahead and comment this video. Thumbs up are always uh, greatly appreciated. Every once in a while, we got the dude that had a bad day. I get a thumbs down, but what can you do? So if this helped you, then I'm glad. And there's many more PS3 videos to come. I'll definitely be sure to do a, a new demo of the new backup managers, like Multiman and stuff like that. So it might not be my next video, but it's in the future. So. I take video requests, all that sorts of stuff. Thanks for the support, and I'll see you in my next video.